The Melbourne report that we publish uh, regularly throughout the year is always one of our most popular. And um, this particular new edition is one that's uh, definitely worth reading because uh, it shows a lot of uh, very important things about what happens with property markets, um, including providing uh, an answer to some of the, the great myths and misconceptions about real estate markets and where you get really good price growth. Because right now in Melbourne, it's the, the outer ring areas that are really pumping strongly and showing the greatest uh, turnover of real estate and also the, the biggest price growth anywhere in the Melbourne market. In fact, the, the price growth that we're currently seeing in those outer ring suburbs of metropolitan Melbourne would be probably the strongest of anywhere in uh, right across Australia right now. Um, we're talking about uh, the uh, Whittlesea and Hume local government areas up in the northern reaches of the Melbourne metropolitan area, the Wyndham City local government area down in the far south, the west heading towards Geelong, uh, and also uh, Melton in the northwest, and Casey, the local government area of Casey down in the far southeast. These are all outering areas, affordable areas, considered by some to be down market areas, uh, particularly perhaps uh, that Melton local government area. Uh, certainly the, the cheapest property in Metropolitan Mountain is found in these places. But right now there's suburb after suburb with really big turnover of houses, um, 300, 400, 500 uh, house sales in the last 12 months in many cases for some of these individual suburbs. And right throughout those five local government areas I've mentioned, uh, we're seeing uh, double-digit price growth in virtually every suburb in those five local government areas, but many of the suburbs have got uh, a movement in their median prices of above 20% in annual terms. So it does say something very important to know about property markets, that uh, you don't need to be close to the CBD to get property price growth. What's important to the great mass of buyers is affordability, uh, good infrastructure, and proximity to drop jobs nodes and it's important to rem remember that most people don't work in the CBDs of our major cities including Melbourne. Most, most people work in suburban jobs nodes and all the places I'm mentioning have major jobs nodes in those areas or close to those areas. Uh, so the distance from the CBD becomes irrelevant for people who choose to live down there. It's all about um, where they work what they can afford and the sort of infrastructure that he already has in terms of shopping centres, schools uh, and uh, public transport. So right now, that's the outer ring areas of Melbourne that are pumping strongly and the price growth that's being achieved there is quite phenomenal, probably the largest of any location anywhere in Australia right now. So this report, um, very important one to get, it's a, it's a good read and it um, certainly will alert you to some of the strongest markets in uh, Australian real estate right now. That's it for now. Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au. Talk to you soon.